Hey folks, how y'all doing? Doing an update on my Midnight Solar. Uh, the kid, MPPT charge controller. And this is an update. And we are kicking some power. So that's just proof in the pudding. Over a PWM charge controller and a uh, MPPT charge controller. Those are two 120 watt, 12 volt panels set up in series, and should be 240 watts. And I'm getting 231 watts right now, 8.4 amps. This is the most I've ever seen out of these panels. And this thing rocks, y'all. Yeah, it's it's the bomb. Yeah, it's better. But I love this little unit. And today it's it's pretty I'll show you conditions. Alright, today the conditions are twenty two point five. That's uh wind chill seventeen. And it snowed all last night till this morning. And this is kind of power producing right now. We got over 2,000 watts coming into the solar right now. Thanks to the uh, uh, new MPPT charge controller. Now I got all MPPTs. The Midnight Solar kit is the bomb. Oops. A hypervoc really works good, but this system is uh, it is cool. I mean, the way it's built and all. I mean, back end and uh, up underneath, you see everything. It's and it's rugged too. I mean, it's really rugged. And this whole panel on the back. Right here, on loose knees, on the marine mount. And if you can see, back here, there's a small screw. Um, back here, right there, that screw right there comes out. And so it's a kid on the back. So this whole thing right here, where I got my finger, you take that one screw out, and the whole panel comes off the back where you can access your cables and wires or anything else you want to get to. But yeah, it is a nice little system. Had learned, still learning how to use it. Let me tighten these bad boys down. One hand deal. Let me see here. One second. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm pretty I'm really happy with it. I am really happy with it so far. It's a beta unit, but she is chugging right along. That's the most amps I've ever seen out of them, those two solar what? There's two solar panels, and they're two Alt E, 120 watt solar panels. And it's doing a great job. I'm really impressed. And you can hit these keys, keys right here. These keys. I'm not sure what it'll do. Oops. Too fast. Input volts. 32.1. Battery 27.2 volts. It's a 24 volt system. But then, the next screen, that's Whiz Bang Jr. That's disabled. Load, I got that off. It's got all kind of good features on it. 
now we're back to this. But anyway, yeah, I just want to give you a little update of how everything is. But anyway, oh, that's better. And today we're putting out, like I say, we're putting out like seven, eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred watts. We're getting the flex net DC. We're putting out seventeen hundred and fifty watts. Seven hundred, seventeen forty, eighteen hundred, eighteen twenty. And we're doing a good job. All right. But uh, the kid, I got my my wires coming through here. Here's my other midnight solar, um, big baby box. That's the battery, positive, kid, MPPT, charge, a good charge controller. Shuts off from the battery, sturdy amp breaker. I'm using 10 gauge wire, and I got 12 amps coming from my solar panels. Because that's all, all it needs. That breaker right there at PV. Positive. Yeah. But, yeah, I just want to give you an update on that. And it's a nice, nice little unit. And look at those heat sinks on that bad boy. That is tough. But it also comes with a... Uh, I might have ordered separately, but <clears throat> this comes with a wall mount. If you really, you know, if you want to use a wall mount, like in home, I could, like I could have done that, but I just wanted to use the marine mount. That's what that looks like. But nice stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, I'm not kidding. That's nice. Uh, also. The marine version that I have, he's all the mess here. It came with all this uh, for your sailboat people, your boaters, you know, sailing vessels going around the world, or the Caribbean, or transatlantic, or trans Pacific going across the ocean, and that kind of stuff. But it comes a conduit and different things where you can wire it into your hull of your boat. Um, or you can do a flush mount. There's different ways you can do it, but it came with this conduit and everything, and the marine bracket. But yeah, some good stuff. Midnight Solar makes great products. But also, right here, I can hold this camera right. I'll press this key right here, menu, right here. menu input okay input okay I, I'm on solar 2 OMP on or you can scroll up um let's see okay scroll down you set VOC you can set the VOC it's like more plus for testing win learn Micro hydro is micro hydro. Wind track. Solar learn. Um, like I say, wind track. Micro hydro. Wind learn. Legacy PNO. Box set. And I'm gonna go to this one this is the program I like the best on save data has been saved alright I'll go back on the menu screen and I'll get a status I'm sorry about the clarity of this video y'all I'll get back my status okay I'm gonna show you what I'm running my solar panels. 
I'll just put these in right right at Christmas time. Alright. I'm trying to make this a good video. Alright. But it's extra clear pretty clear today. Some uh, partly cloudy overcast, kinda. You got clouds in the vicinity. And there's the sun. But I'm running these two. 120 watt solar panels and they're at a 53 degree angle and I got them locked down and you all see my my tilt mounts you know and I got them locked down with tractor pins right here so they can't go anywhere <laughs> but yeah they, and I'll take you through here and there's my midnight solar um, combiner box, that's where all my stuff's coming through. And my uh, uh, midnight solar surge protector. Or lightning arrestor. But yeah, we'll get you another look on these. But they are booming today, y'all. I definitely recommend one of these midnight kids. I'm not a salesman for them, nothing, but I'm just happy with the product. And I'm beta testing it for them. <clears throat> Excuse me there. But yeah, we got good solar conditions today. But yeah, that's those are the panels that I'm running with the kid. The third it's a 30 amp MPPT charge controller. If um it does 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt. And if I'm wrong, y'all can correct me. But yeah, it's all alternate day for solar. Doing good. Good compliment to my system. Um, let me show you some other. I'll take one more peek at it again, and we'll call it a vi call it a video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Man, it's snow. Yeah, we got about two to three inches of snow. Um, let's see here, y'all. As you know, as you notice, all my videos are unedited. <laughs> the ground's frozen harder than a rock trying to close this gate. Alright. Alright, come on back here. We'll slide underneath these solar panels. But yeah, that's the solar panels that I'm solar panels that I'm running the uh the, that the kids running, and those are two Alt E 120 watt uh, solar panels at 12 volt. I got them inside in series to make 24 volt. All right. I hope the camera doesn't fog up. It's warm in here. And uh, here she is. Let me turn this little light on. But yeah, it is booming. I'm really happy with the, what we get, where we get where we're getting. So anyway, y'all, leave me some comments and. I want to thank y'all for watching. This is uh, this is KVUSMC, and let me see. Let me get the kid in the background. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's a the kid. All right. Well, I want to thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great one. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This is Kenny Vire or Kenneth W. Vire Jr. or KVUSMC or Virelosity. Uh, just don't call me late for dinner. Alright, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll take care. Bye-bye. Wrong button. Sorry about that, y'all.